Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and Christina's here with me again, and we are highlighting Marie Jose Bloom's workshop on our site called Core Motivations. This is an amazing, amazing workshop. She goes through so many practical um, postural sequences for your, your clients, tying in the anatomy and getting to see her hands-on cues and her verbal cues and how brilliantly intuitive she is and how she works with the client. It's really, really something to watch. So in a previous Pilates show, Christine found the optimal height of her spine. And in, in this one, we're gonna be finding that same sort of thing in stillness with breathing and really recognizing how the spine and especially the sacrum is responsible for carrying the weight of the head. So in this sequence, we're gonna use a pole and it might not be right now, but through a few breath cycles, we might be able to get Christine a, a lot more easier and fuller in her home spine using this pull. Now, one of the ways to do this is to bring the hands back. So we bring the sh um, shoulders into flexion. Yep, and our elbows are slightly forward. So that really opens, yep, so you can, um, yep, just angle your elbows forward. That just slightly opens the back of the heart here. Um, collarbone is wide, and for a lot of people, this is a difficult position. So you might get a yoga strap or a towel here if their hands can't reach. And then you also wanna make sure, Christine's doing a beautiful job, but you also wanna make sure that they're not shoving their ribs forward to find this. Okay, so first, because she's doing wonderful right now, but I'd like to get, and don't shove your ribs back all of a sudden, Christine, because I'm gonna use a breath cycle to find this. I'd like to see her a little bit fuller in the, the lower part of her thoracic spine. So I'm gonna put my hand on her lower belly, thumb and second finger, and then I'm gonna bring my other fingers maybe like right above the thoracic lumbar junction. And I want this to be nice and easy. I want on a long extended exhale for Christine to imagine that she's bringing the contents of her belly up into her mid back where my fingers are. So this is a diagonal cue, and you'll see MJ use the, these diagonal cues throughout the body. There's such a wonderful directional touch. So she's gonna take a deep inhale again, lighten your grip on the pole, exhale and think about bringing the touch on your, yes, there you go. And again, hold what you found, deep inhale, and then on the exhale, bringing the touch on the belly up into the touch towards the bra line, softening the front ribs. Good. Now, when I've gotten her as full as possible in this shoulder flexion, then I'm gonna add one of <laughs> Marie Jose's Smart Spine products. It's a heated globe, and this is really hitting home how the sacrum and spine are carrying the weight of the head. But we're responsible right, for countering gravity. So if we are always slumping, if we're always kind of changing the curves of our spine in a habitual way, the head gets much, much heavier. And then the, then the sacrum can't hold the weight of the head. So does that feel like it's in a balanced place, Christine? Good. So again, on her exhale, now that she has this heat and this weight on the crown of her head, on her exhale, she's thinking about bringing the contents of her belly all the way up into her mid-back and letting that travel all the way through the rest of the spine up to the globy. Good, taking a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, feeling the softness of the front ribs, feeling as if these back ribs wanna go back and up, like this is the back of her Ferris wheel. So she gets fuller and fuller in her thoracic spine. Last one, so we feel the height of the back of the head, the back of the neck, as the front ribs soften. Good, and then go ahead and release the arms. 
Good, and I want her to hold on to this feeling. I'll take it off. I want her to hold on to this feeling of height through her spine as I slowly take this off. So she should carry the feeling of that weight on her head throughout her day. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of other cultures who would do a lot of uh, more physical work and carry things, frankly, on their heads all the time, have less incidence of lower back pain. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.